Hi, welcome to Juice Bar. Today we're gonna mix a welcome to France. Tu, 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 tu. So the Welcome to France is a cocktail created by Courtney Rose, the Petit Roi, in LA. Why it's called Welcome to France? I think, well, it seems like the restaurant or bar it was created at is called Petit Trois, so something French. And it used Genepi. Genepi, to me, is actually an Italian product because it's an herbal liqueur produced by infusing alcohol with Artemisia plants and flowers. You might know Artemisia as the plant family which include Artemisia absentium or wormwood. That's the plant that gives absent his name and uh, is uh, supposedly psychedelic quality. But normally GNP is done with other kinds of Artemisia plants. To this infused spirit is then added some sugar. I think it's Italian because it's made in Savoy. I just talked about the Savoy Hotel a few weeks ago. But Savoy is also a region that's on the border between France, Italy and Switzerland. So what does Genepi taste like? It really tastes like a really light floral amaro. And I can't wait to taste this cocktail, which is actually a simple Manhattan variation. And you know, I love those. So let's get down to mixing. I don't have a mixing glass here in Italy. I'm just gonna use uh, the bigger half of my shaker. And let's start with Del Professore Rosso, Howard Sweet Vermouth. I used this before, for example, in Aperitivo Marrone. This is a delicious sweet vermouth. A bit on the pricey side, but I think it's worth it. That professor makes lots of really good things. I think I used their uh, classical before, which is like an amber color. This is a red and more traditionally sweet. 22.5 milliliter of that. The proportion of this cocktail are quite heavy. Mix it like this if you want quite the punch in your Manhattan variation. And then we go on with the GNP. This particular GNP is by Distilleria Qualia, which, as you might have guessed, provided me their liqueurs. No, they didn't provide me, I bought them. I made an order for uh, many of their products, and this is 35% ABV. And the ingredients are just water, alcohol, sugar, and GNP plants, which are Artemisia family plants. And then we conclude with some uh, single malt whiskey. I have here the Jura Superstition. You're not gonna find this anymore. It's uh, actually the first bottle I bought when Corona started. I was uh, stuck here in Italy right at the time Corona happened. And the first time I was able to go to the supermarket, I got myself a bottle of this. And it was one of the few nice moments of that time when at night I was sipping this Jura, which is slightly pitted, it's quite nice. Just right after Jura completely changed the lineup and so this superstition was gone, but it was a really good product. Let me get some ice. And let's give this bad boy a good stir because it's quite the stiff cocktail. You might have noticed I'm wearing two microphones today because I'm doing some sounds experiments. It's amazing once you listen to the recording of my videos, how much more echo there is in this house compared to my house in Japan. The house in Japan is made of uh, lots of paper and wood. This house here in Italy is made from a lot of marble and bricks and the echo is quite different. 
it's quite more powerful here. So I'm trying different recording technique to give him the best experience possible. Let me give this a taste. Yeah, I think we are right. Let's get a crystal coop and let's strain our cocktail. Let's express some orange peel. I don't even think this is an Italian orange, but boy, smells amazing. Let's drop it in like that. And there you go, a welcome to France. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It's really nice. The flavor comes at you really in waves. At first I get the smokiness of the Jura, but then later on I get sweetness and lots of fruits and flowers. Flowers from the Genepi and fruits from this red vermouth. The Genepi also provides the touch of sugar that you know I love in my Manhattans. This is fairly strong though. Be ready for quite the punch in your guts is strong. It's a strong cocktail, but it's really good. And I love this GNP. It's a great uh, alternative to, I don't know, elderflower liqueurs or uh, Benedictine or Amaro. It's, it's something in there, in, in between these flavors, but it's really unique. You just have to try it. It's uh, hard to describe. By the way, I just noticed my finger is still a bit black. Sorry, I fixed my bicycle this morning. I washed my hand thoroughly, but there's still a bit of black here and there. Mm, this is good. Strong, but good. If you use a completely not smoky whiskey, you're gonna get some different flavors. In this version, the smoke kinda take precedence. Also, you know, I just told you I opened this bottle in 2020, so might be that besides smoke there is not much flavor left, but hey, I am throwing some Jura away. But I hope you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below, share with anybody you like and don't like, see yourself another awesome Manhattan variation and hopefully I will see you next time. Cheers. So why Savoy is part French, part Italian and part Swiss? That's because it used to be owned by the Savoy family, which later on becomes kings of Italy. But to actually become kings of Italy, this king had to give something to Napoleon III for some help with the wars around the peninsula. He gave Napoleon III, Savoy, the rest of the Savoy, and Nice, Nizza, on the Côte d'Azur. By giving up these uh, really nice places, actually, he gained the support of Napoleon III to, I don't know, do some war kick out some Austrians, I think. And so in 1860, Napoleon III helped out Savoy guy. They did some wars uh, and uh, after a brief time, uh, they had uh, most of Italy under control. And that's the first time we really talk about Italy. So it's a really young country in the end, way younger than most countries, and the Republic it's from 1945, I guess, or 46. <laughs> I should know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 1945, the war ends, but I don't know when they had time to do the referendum to kick out the fucking king. I don't like kings. One more time.